This is a Dakota News Now special report. College coaches, I mean, just the honest part of the business, they have less time than they did before to like build their team and win right away. And obviously winning is so important. Um, and let's just, I mean, Division One college athletics, Division Two, Division Three. now if you don't win, you normally get fired. Take the risk, you know, it was a big risk for everybody who transferred here. It lay years difference. And then you figure in the transfer portal and the NIL uh, considerably different. It's here to stay. Uh, and it is, a, it is a part of our world now. Good evening and thanks for joining us on this special report, Changing the Game. I'm Sam Wright and during this next half hour, we're hearing from athletes, coaches and lawmakers about the monumental changes that have occurred over the past six years in college athletics, such as the transfer portal and the availability of NIL deals. We're seeing what's still to come and what you or someone entering this landscape can expect. Transferring between universities has long been a common practice, but previously required a student athlete to sit out one year or competition before being eligible. As of 2018, transfer students can compete right away if they meet a set of qualifications. The transfer portal debuted on October 15th of 2018 and has since served as a compliance tool to act as a traffic light directing the movement of student athletes. To give you a brief example, we looked at the football rosters of USD and SDSU over the past three years, from a freshman all the way to a graduate student. Ideally, you'd like to see the numbers from sophomore to upperclassmen stay relatively similar through the years, which they do for the most part, at both of South Dakota's Division I football programs. Those rosters are a little more static. You also have to factor in injuries, academics, and COVID eligibility. For a contrasting example, a program in the FBS ranks got a lot of attention and transfers when Coach Deion Sanders came to the University of Colorado Boulder. Here you can see he lost a lot of seniors but also gained 20 graduate student athletes during his first year. The latest wrinkle over the past three years that can contribute to the movement is cashing in on name, image, and likeness. We'll touch on that part a little later, but first we'll talk about how the portal makes drastic changes for better and for worse. South Dakota made history when August Santa's men's ice hockey team became the first program in the state to compete at the Division I level. It's a transition that's still coming to fruition. Head coach Garrett Raboyne and his players say the transfer portal helped contribute to the foundation for something special within the next few years. I talk to um, a lot of teams actually and um, there are some great schools out there with some good coaches and some good programs um, that I was interested in but uh, I don't think anything compared to Augustana and, and what I saw them building here and I just wanted to be a part of it. Junior defenseman Evan McIntyre is one of 15 players head coach Garrett Raboyne considers transfers that make up their team of 26. Coming from Ohio State, McIntyre is one of the many players looking for the right opportunity at Augustana University. After going through the transfer portal, which included getting released from his previous school, getting transcripts processed, and essentially becoming a recruit again, preparing to make a decision. Hockey was not the only factor for McIntyre and other players as some of their former programs did not offer their desired graduate program. Since I'm going to graduate as a junior this year, uh, I'll be doing my MBA next year um, as a senior. So um, that, that was another big part of it. So why not come play hockey and get your master's? You know? <laughs> That's a big part of the process is finding out what they want to graduate with. What degree, do, what degree do they value? Our admissions has been great. Um, you know, and we, we had to lean on them. They're busy people last year as we're trying to get all of our uh, transfers into school and, and uh, housing, all of it. Um, and, and our group did a great job. Is the athletic side, how am I going to fit uh, as an athlete in their program? What, what's the opportunity? But at the same time, they, they're cognizant that they are student athletes and they are looking to get a degree uh, to, to put to use after graduation. Head coach Garrett Raboyne sees both sides of the argument for the transfer portal. The former walk-on became a captain at St. Cloud State, then became an assistant for his alma mater before taking an assistant position at the University of Minnesota. 
As the first leader behind this team's bench, he's trying to build a winning culture at Augustana with some of the principles he learned in the previous era. If I was my current self, looking back to my, my playing self, I'm so happy that the transfer portal wasn't an op option. Um, I think I am who I am because of some of the adversities and things that I went through as a student athlete. I'm glad I didn't have the opportunity because if I'm two different, three different colleges, you know, where, what am I really a part of? All of us are going to look back in, let's say, 20 years and say, like, we really started this program from scratch. And obviously with the help of the support staff and the coaches and the school and, and all the money that's been donated to help, help us build this team and program, uh, I think it's really special, uh, not, not only for the school, but the community in Sioux Falls, um, as well as growing the game here in South Dakota. Uh, I think we've been doing a great job with that. Um, and yeah, I, I hope I can come back someday and, and look and watch these guys play and, and uh, say I helped build this place. Since I think the transfer portal has, has worked uh, in a great way for us. Um, but I also am looking forward to a day that I don't have to rely on it. Um, and I'm hopeful that we can build from within. Coach Rabon said NIL isn't a huge factor right now in Division I hockey, but it will eventually have a big impact. Coming up on Changing the Game, what exactly is NIL? We're understanding the good, the bad, and the ugly that comes of it. Plus, what kind of urgency has grown in Congress in the wake of all this? We're seeing how legislators factor into changing the game. <laughs> 